So if I remember correctly, we were trying to get Meryl a piece of a mirror. Only that's not any mirror, but an Illuvian. Which Hulk is not aware, but uh, we are since we played. Uh, what is the fucking name? Witch Hunt. We played Witch Hunt and we knew that the Illuvian is basically a teleportation portal. He acted like I was a monster. Well, you're a blood mage. Okay, that's not good. Blood mages are not. Circles. Not even in nail but shit. Okay, let's try to slow them down a bit. that motherfuck no I'm a stupid stupid man or should I say four to leave and I need to I need to do what exactly you are a stupid little girl aren't you
Okay, no more reckonings. That does nothing. I'm not going to risk it. Okay, that fight didn't go very well, but we survived, which is all that matters. Cool. So let's go and get the piece of shit for which we put our lives in danger. What have they been saying about me? They must think I'm worse than the blight. Well, you're certainly more clumsy than the blight. And they were a horde of mindless beasts. They had no reason to be afraid of me. None of this makes any sense. Well, yes, it does. You fuck them over. They were counting of you. On you, I should say. Become there and whatever the fuck it is called. Keeper. Okay, a forest horror and a lot of our frost horrors. Enemy on to 
fire we shall know shortly. Apparently not. Which seems a bit strange. Holy fuck. Okay. Not one or two, but uh, a lot of them. Holy crap! Oh. Who knew that killing the Barrel was not going to be? the worst thing in this fucking world I 
things are not looking up. Leave. Leave. Too much power from that Okay, so it's now the piece of shit for us to horror against me. <laughs> Hubris, good. Too good looking to die. Oh, you like Hubris. The chant of light tells us that Hubris, something like that, created a blight. Something on the lines is the pretty first No That's not good at all twenty two physical plus 24th health plus 5 regen physical (laughs) 
Okay, let's keep it. It's time to get the fuck out of this cave. Uh, nothing like retreating. Retreat. Kill them one by one. Okay. I need to save more often. It is obvious to me now. That's how a sh fight should go. That's how it should go. Yes, I know. You're almost dead. After all the injuries you have received, but... Barrick, you have chest here. That means you are a badass, so don't complain. Okay. Let's go and finish that quest and return home so we can get cured for free, at least the tank is working as it should, she is not falling. She leaps to tell the tale, in fact she saved us in the last fight against that fucking frost horror. I really miss summon death, I like to summon another. Character, imagine a dog, a dead, whatever the fuck it is. Uh. Okay, let's talk to Marizari. The Vateral is dead. Masaranas, I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Vatarol. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There's no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk. Because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, <laughs> don't let her do this. Uh, you are misguided if you... Thank the creators. Uh, I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. Uh, the Keeper is an idiot. That's what she is. I may not be a blood mage now, but I'll soon be the greatest blood mage of them all an anti andraste if you will but on a side note she said eh, we won't lose more people to the Barcero well there we're losing people because she was sending people to a fucking cave to die 
that's the reason they were losing people not that there was a monster trapped in a cave which it obviously could not leave it was because she was sending them there to die like ducks is it worth restoring this mirror if it turns your clan against you you know what it's like to lose everything hawk not just our land and freedom but history stories language magic rituals even our gods are gone it is a sacrifice but if the mirror restores even one fragment of the past it's worth it i agree 100% what did the keeper mean the mirror led you to blood magic i the shard i picked up was corrupted i couldn't cleanse it without help the keeper refused she said that it belonged to another time and should be left there so i found a spirit it gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic yes yes you cannot deny that making deals with demons is uh, effective on this world it's like selling your soul in our world if you believe you have a soul and you believe there is a demon or a devil or satan or whatever people believe that in fact in my country it is uh, a common belief that at least two presidents sold their souls to become presidents <laughs> They went naked to a mountain in full moon and performed certain rituals that a witch had told them to do and they became presidents, that's the, <laughs> the myth. Okay. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. Yes, yes. Let's give her a piece of shard. Take the knife. Just try not to cut yourself with it. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. Yes, fuck Aveline. Fuck her. We tried to get her a husband I, and... I think I need a rescue here! And she still hates me after I got her laid. A storm is. She most likely screamed like she has never screamed. Sir Wesley didn't seem like the kind of husband that would satisfy a woman. Okay, how are we supposed to live through that place? I don't know, but we will <laughs> live. Mm, let's go back to our state. States General. Talk to oh, me. You've returned. Nothing new to report, I'm afraid. Uh, I was afraid of the same thing. Hello, Mada. Are you really getting involved with those Canari? Be careful. They don't think like us. No, they have horns. 
species with horns tend to be more aggressive, that's why they have horns to fight and to uh, show who's more manly. Okay. Let's bring him and her and him because I need to look for a few things. I have uh, knives and uh, swords and other shit which I want to. Purge out of my inventory. I've heard about the circle of magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for you to be here? They can touch me? <laughs> yes, I'll blend in with a fucking two meter high. Oh, stuff on my back. Oh, I'm sure nobody will notice little old me, don't you worry. Very reassuring. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. Hmm, that's an interesting thing. How are circles in the Imperium? Yes, I never pondered that. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. As it should be, as it should be. Oh, the Imperium. If the Imperium didn't have slavery, it would be the perfect system of government for me. Hmm. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tavinta. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the South, but not the North. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. Well, it's good then. Yes, the Magisters don't seem that terrible to me. Some are a little bit on the crazy side, but... You talk about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have no doubt that some are good and noble men, strong enough to resist temptation. But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter, from the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course, they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a Magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful Magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And we will pay that price. Not with the lives of slaves, but with our own flesh and blood. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers, 
Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. Well, I would resort to blood magic, yes I would. Uh, it's, no, I don't think they should be punished for pushing the boundaries of magic, for their progress is inevitable. And costs come with progress. And I don't understand this one, but I don't like the other, so let's go with this one. You're saying that locking mages up is better? All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. Power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. No, they don't. They don't. Corypheus had power, he had great power. I would worship Dumat if he gave me that power. I don't have that kind of power. So mages are not powerful enough already. Uh, the, the circle, I will say the circle is necessary. Why? Because it hurts the stupid mages into a conform a mass a conformity hurt it does so we the apostates can run around free what the circle does here is better than the alternative an alternative I am very familiar with Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Why yes, so yes. Why do so many insist on running away from the circle? Where do they think they'll go? Well, they can go to me. They end up in my sights anyway I have killed so many blood mages which I don't want to kill I like them I do not believe being a mage or a blood mage entitles you to Mm, treat other sentient beings like shit. And it does entitle you to rule, as far as I'm concerned. What? Ah, now I understand. Okay. Well, it's marginally better, so... Let's level her up, then. How much? Nine points, holy crap. No, I won't level her up. That's too much time thinking about shit. We need to move. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
What the fuck is that? Okay, yeah. Well, this is originally better than Hayden's Razor. Okay. I will put those on my chest back at home. Let's talk to this man. Brilliant. I'm amazed you found everything. My craft can begin anew. Your reward, my young friend. Okay, I know I need like uh, <laughs> 160 uh, gold for what I need to buy, so I know there are a couple of things I want to buy. Just a couple, but Welcome. they are worth a lot of gold. A lot of it. Okay, let's go to my home then. Welcome home. Everything's quiet here in the mansion. Okay, so you believe it won't be. Let's toss these things there. That one, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Okay. Let's go and do more quests with our party that loves us with the exception of Aveline that hates our guts but I am not uh, how would you call it A lawful person? <laughs> if I had so to... So you're taking the Captain of the Guard to accuse the Grand Cleric of funding Zealots? Don't forget the kidnapped Canari. That too. Some days, Hawk. The Grand Cleric, please. Tell her... Tell her... Three canari leave an estate, and let her finish. Sarah Hawk, uh, sister yes, Patrice, you. mother Patrice. Time has changed us both. Grand Cleric Elfina cannot grant an audience to just anyone. What do you want? To stick my stuff up your ass. That's what I want. What? Funny how you and issues with the Canari seem to go together. And you always assume their side. I was naive when last we met. I did not want you dead, but I felt a death was necessary. That may be too fine a point for you to understand, but you must admit you came out the better for it. Yes, I had to play that fucking fight like ten times. No, no, I did not come the better of it. If a dead is necessary, it will be yours. But I don't think the Grand Cleric is involved in this. No, I don't remember very well. 
but she truly looks like a faithful person, not like this mother Patrice, which is a bitch. I know you, and I know someone is abusing the Grand Cleric's seal. Who are you to question who serves her grace? I am sorry, but I see no reason to let you pass. How about the fact that her authority was used to abduct Kunari? A pause that says you knew. But does her grace? The Grand Cleric trusts her stewards to enact the wishes of the Maker. Well, the... <laughs> the Maker then is a bloodthirsty... God. And that's right, that's exactly what I believe. She is a truly faithful person. Um, with a moral that is very strict and does not condone murder. I doubt she would approve, and she will hear of it. Stubborn. All right, Sarah Hawk. If you won't abandon this, let me offer you something. We know we're talking. The Templar you seek is a radical who has grown unreliable. Confronting him may do us all a favor. And his relation to you is? He is my former bodyguard, Ser Von L. Assume what you wish, but I offer him to you as reconciliation. Meet me at this location. I invite you, Sarah Hawk. Come see the unrest these Kunari have inspired. Need I say I'm skeptical? It's her game. <laughs> <at the moment. laughs> yes, I'm a skeptical too. It's obviously a fucking trap. Ah, look at that. Let's go and talk to the Grand Cleric herself. And our good friend Sebastian. I think Grandfather is smiling now, seeing me holding his bow. Is something troubling you? Okay. This is new. Is it true the Templars are planning to use the right of tranquility on every age in the city? What? No. It's not an uncommon gripe to hear in the Templar barracks, but the Chantry has never supported such a thing. But you don't condemn the practice outright. The right of tranquility has always been a last resort. It has saved lives, but it is not without its costs. If you'll excuse me. Well, I agree that the right of tranquility is... Necessary. It's like prisons, but for demons. How do you trap a demon, I ask you? You cannot trap it in a prison as you can a human being. Once a mage turns into a demon, all uh, his rights are forfeit. So if you suspect someone is going to become a demon, you trap the demon where in the fade that's the only way to do that really is something troubling you so it is necessary yes i don't trust sister patrice one bit did you know someone used the authority of your name to instigate a crime against the canary the path to righteousness is never as straight and narrow as we wish. I truly hoped this would not go so far. But do not trouble yourself. I will step in when it's time. What is the Chantry's stance on the Kunari presence here? Would it help anything for us to get involved? 
or is it more likely to light the kindling? If the Canari act against us, the Templars will defend Kirkwall. Otherwise, we guard ourselves best by waiting. How long have you been Grand Cleric? I became a lay sister here when I was only a girl. My parents died of fever, and I was taken in by the Chantry. Eventually, I took my vows. After I had served for some time, the revered mothers agreed that I should travel to Orlais. The Divine herself appointed me Grand Cleric of Kirkwall. That was near 30 years ago. You knew my grandparents. I dedicated your mother into the Chantry. She was a beautiful baby. Your grandmother was a very proper lady, but she was beside herself that day. And your mother put a fist in my eye. Are you intending to stay neutral about the Canarian Mages forever? The Maker's time is not men's time. We do not need to rush. The Chantry is not a domineering father with the whip always in hand. She is a gentle mother who knows her children learn best when allowed to learn themselves. Well, no one can learn if you end up dead. Okay, let's see if I can talk a little bit more to her. Is something troubling you? I'd always welcome your benediction. Andraste, guide your steps in this difficult time. Uh, let's hope not. <laughs> okay. Sadly, I have to eat so now let me do something before I go back. I now there is a sword here. Okay, it is actually very good. But not good enough. So as I say, said I have to eat. So I will pause here. And I'll return.